Hi everyone, I thought I'd do a, like another theme team, I guess, today. Um, so yeah, I decided to do a team of like, ancient Pokemon, I guess, so like fossils and Mamoswine. So, yeah, I don't know. So the first one is Archaeops. Um... Basically, the first three of them I actually have in the game. I'm a suited, well, the three of them, I guess. But, um, yeah, so that's why they all have specific nicknames. And then Mamoswine's just, you know. Um, so yeah. First, we have Archaeops. We have Head Smash, because Rock type. Acrobatics. Earthquake and Aquatail. So, I think the one I have in game has Dragon Claw instead of Aquatail, I can't remember. But the idea with Acrobatics is that you get down to lower health because Citrus Berry. Um, what no? You get down to lower health because Head Smash. Then I think Defeatus is gonna kick in because Archaeops' ability is crap. And then you get boosted up by a citrus berry, and then you don't have an item, so you can just spam acrobatics. Um, and then that's, what you call it, base 110 power. So yeah, that's the thing. Um, second one is Armaldo. And Armaldo is probably, joint with Archaeops, is probably one of my favorite fossil Pokemon. It just looks really cool, I think. And the shiny is cool. Um, so Stone Edge and X is for main, like, stab attacks. And Aqua Jet for priority, and Rapid Spin to get rid of, like, what you call it? Field Hazards. And then Leftovers, because Recovery, I guess. And Battle Armor, because I don't really like messing with weather too much unless I'm using like something with drizzle or the weather version of you know what I mean I don't really like running rain dance and sunny day and all that unless it's on a cast form but I haven't used a cast form in ages so I should probably use a cast form again it's kind of cool and Z weather ball is pretty good apparently um so yeah, third is Amistar, because this isn't a, what, three-year-old joke at this point. Um, so we've got Stone Edge, Scold, and Spikes, because, like, Spikes are helpful, I guess. Um, Shell Armor was the one I got on the in-game one, I think. And then Leftovers to add to the 125 base defense. Or not to add to it, to like help with the bulk, I guess. I don't know. I can't remember. Um, I actually made these sets quite a while ago. I just like put them together onto a Gen 7 team because it sounded fun. Um, so then we have Mamoswine, who I don't think I've ever used, to be fair. Um, Earthquake, Icicle Crash, and I shard for the stab. I shard because priority, obviously. And I think Icicle Crash was the strongest Ice type stab. But it was physical. I can't remember. Mm. Mm. Yeah, Icicle Crash. Wait, what have I done? Oh gosh, what have I done? <laughs> um, so I'll just replace those. Sorry if you can hear my keyboard going at the moment. Um, it's kind of an old laptop I'm using, so. So I chose Thick Fat because Mamoswine is... Okay, I thought it was more bulky than that, but whatever. Um, basically gets rid of... I think it gets rid of the fire weakness. I can't fully remember the stats, but whatever. An assault vest because I'm not using any status moves and it just 
I mean, it's a fat mammoth, you're not gonna, you know. Um, fifth was Tyrantrum. I actually used the Tyrantrum quite a lot in the past, but then the game kind of got corrupted. Um, so we have Head Smash and Dragon Claw for main stab. We should get Dragon Fang, Dragon Fang or Dragon Bite or, you know what I mean, like a Dragon type bite and move and Strong Draw will be even better. Um, and we have Poison Fang because, I mean, 50% chance to badly poison is pretty good. And then Crunch just goes Crunch and it gets boosted by Strong Draw. Um, Life Orb because it's meant to be like a... It boosts damage even further, so... And again, 6 is Cradley. Now, Cradley is surprisingly good. I've used it once or twice in the past. Um, I'm not fully sure if this is the best set, but like, I thought I'd give it a go anyway. Storm Drain's a hidden ability, so it's going to be pretty hard to get, unless you have, I think it was given out in Gen 5? I can't remember. You know, like, if you used to hoard events or whatever in Gen 5, like I kind of did with Dream World. Dream Ball Executor, man. Um, anyway, Leftovers, because Recovery, Storm Drain, again, because... Like, um, Mammoth Swine, it kind of just gives it another immunity, and it gives it a boost, because... Special Attack. Um... Giga Drain and Ancient Power because, well Giga Drain again is recovery, and Ancient Power is like, y you know, it's a chance to get the scummy boosts and I can't help it. Uh, Stealth Rock in case Amistar gets like, knocked out before it, actually, just last minute change, Focus Sash on the Amistar, and I can get Spikes off. And again, uh, recover because, uh, again, recovery. <laughs> um, just gonna check it. Yeah, okay, cool. So I'm gonna ask the wrong one. There it is. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna try this out on OU. I think OU's the lowest it can go, I can't remember. But, you know, we'll, we'll give it a go. It's not like it's gonna do much. It's not like it's gonna be used in a tournament or anything, so whatever. Um Okay, the spike stuff. You know, it's cool because that's its actual name. Like it's actually called Omasica in a different language. I think it might be German, don't quote me on that. But yeah, it's just a really cool name. Uh, I'm gonna try and get Stone Edge. Doesn't really do all that much. Um, okay, so it has Giga Drain. I don't really have anything for that. I guess I'll switch into Armaldo and Rapid Spin. If I survive, that is. Um, it's probably going to outspeed. Oh, or I could just switch. Whatever. So now he's going to set up Stealth Rock again, because... Ah. Oh, I was hoping that would do, like, a bunch of damage. And then it would be, you know, it would be really cool, because... It would do more than I expected, but nah. Nah, a bad idea. Uh, I'm going to switch into Cradley. Because it can actually, like... It actually has a decent power stab move. With strong on it, so... At least it's toxic. That's a thing, I guess. Um, wait. Stealth rocks. Because, I mean, you know... Definitely got my priorities in check, and I? Uh, like, it's not like I should be Giga Draining it or anything. 
Oh boy. Well, whatever. Um, it's a shame I don't have any bug moves. I guess it's, uh, it might have flamethrower. Wait, thick fats, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna switch into a thingy. Mamoswine. Now, I find it pretty cool that um, Hydreigon is a special attacker. Like, I shiny hunted one just kind of on a whim because I found out that I'd had smash a few chain breeder onto it. I think it was chain breed and I can't remember. But, you know, like, it just sounded really like a cool idea, so I decided to. And this is just switching repeatedly at this point. Um. I don't think any of them get Sap Zipper. Ah, whatever, let's try going for a Scumbag Boost. See if we can get a Scumbag Boost. But yeah, I actually really like the concept of, like, Fossil Pokemon. I think it's a really cool idea. Um... So I'm just gonna use ancient power because it isn't it does more. Oh boy. I mean we all know the real solid snake is Steelix, but like GG in it fam. What not I don't know what I'm you, you know what I mean. The joke is that it's solid snake like a dude from Metal Gear Solid or Smash Bros. I know him from Smash Bros. I've never actually played one of those games, but, um, thingy, the joke is that Steelix is steel type, see this is like a great thing with Cradleo is like, you can just, like another, I'm pretty sure another Leaf Storm would have killed, but it didn't, and now I'm at 99% health. Like, that's just, you know. For a theme team, this is actually pretty fun. Like, I mean, normally theme teams are fun to do, but the idea is that. Oh, cool, the four third. Um. So, I technically got a win with this. That's cool. Um. The idea with theme teams is that sure the fun, but like, it's a challenge to pull off most of the time. Because, oh cool, Mono Ice. Um, yeah, I should do more Mono type battles. That was fun. Um, but yeah, like, normally you don't... <sighs> okay, then. Should have stuck with Stone Edge. Um, normally you just don't get much done with them, because normally it ends up being fairly weak, watch call it. Well, at least I missed, and Taunt wore off. It's probably going to outspeed and go for Taunt again. Oh, maybe not. Um, well, at least I didn't get Destiny bonded. I mean, sure, I got disabled, but like, you know... Um, but yeah, if you see this, like if you end up watching to this point, what's your favorite fossil Pokemon? Because like I said earlier, mine's probably either Archeops or Armaldo. But I'm curious about what other people think, so like, put it in the comments, innit? it? Because that would be pretty interesting to see. So, if it has powers again, it's going to KO. I'm um, going to just go for the Aqua Jet. Try and do as much damage as I can. It's going to KO this turn anyway, like I said. Um, so... I 
I think I'm gonna go into Archeops. And... Head Smash, I guess? I don't know. Archeops has surprisingly good stats. Like, people just assume it's bad. Oh, gosh. See, that's what I mean. Um... Archeops has surprisingly good stats. People just assume it's bad because defeatist. Um... It really isn't that bad. It's actually really fun. Like, I mean... Oh, oh okay. I was gonna... 350 speed if it's invested follow. So, like... Y you know. I mean, sure, it just got killed there, but, like... I was pretty sick, you know. Maybe I should think of using the other one. The other barriers, the confusion ones. That could be cool. Because the idea was that it would get down to low health and then just restore it with citrus berry. But I think if I had have put a confusion berry on, maybe it would have survived the knockoff. I don't know. But yeah. Oh boy, Aurora Veil, my favorite move. That was sarcasm. Hmm. So it's either gonna be... It's probably either gonna be seven tons on a hail with the... The watch call it a hail rock. Or it's gonna be six tons with the like there. And again, no, I do run ICMZ on my one, so. Oh, okay. I thought I'd survive at least one. But there we go. Um, so I've probably lost this one, unless Ancient Power can kill. And then Aurora Veil wears off or something, I don't know. Um, oh, okay. Wait, what happened to the other layer of spikes? I thought it was toxic poison. Oh, rip. GG. Wait, what? Okay. How did that work? Oh, it was Moonblast instead. And I'm gonna die this turn instead. Okay, then. GG. I think it's nice how available Hidden Ability, Tyrantrum, and Aurora Saga. Like, personally, I don't really use them that much. But, I find it cool how kind of available they were. Where it was just like it was an event with Watchcaller. For entering a competition. I never actually got the Watchcaller. The Hidden Ability Tyrant, I think it was, Tyrant. But I ended up getting the Aurorus. Aurorus, Amora. And personally, I haven't used it. But I've kind of trained my own one up. And yeah, I haven't really used it that much, so. You know. Surprise it isn't running watch call it shell smash. I thought that was a thing with Minio. Well whatever. It's so I'm gonna two co with Minio. And I've set up toxic spikes, so everything that isn't Salazzle or Vicavolt. Eh, rip toxic spikes. So I'm just gonna scold and probably gonna get killed. Not killed, you know what I mean. Yeah, there we go. So now I'm gonna switch into Mammoth Swan. It's kind of like I have Earthquake, but it has fire type moves. Wow, okay then. I haven't actually seen someone use that. I've been thinking of it because it's like 50% chance to not do anything. It's actually surprisingly good. But, you know, I haven't gotten around to it yet. 
Hmm? For decidua. I guess you could say I deck sidui the English schnoz. That was a bad joke, I'm sorry. Um shouldn't have done that, I have a chance to miss now. Well whatever. I should have just I shouted to get rid of this guy's. Um Bulk up mimic you is different. Like it knew it got bulk up, but I thought pretty much every mimic you ran sword stance. So that's interesting, I guess. Um, spikes are down, so this is going to be a free co if survive. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, don't see what happened there, but okay. I guess it was just slightly strong enough. So it's got levitate, so I can't... Hmm. Just going to want a shard, get over it. Wait, Vicavolt slow. I should have just icicle crashed, I forgot it was slow. Oh, okay, whatever. <laughs> I'm lucky they used Thunderbolt. I guess that was like a misclick or something. Um, See, so yeah, I'm just gonna ice shard, it's gonna outspeed, so. It's gonna outspeed otherwise. It's pretty cool the amount of moves Komodo gets though. Like I'm pretty sure it gets Light Just or Flash Cannon. Then it gets Flamethrower, I think. I can't remember. Up oh, rip. Okay then. Uh 295. Closest out Tyrantrum. Gonna switch into Cradily. And try and kill this thing before it can wipe my entire team out. Hmm. I didn't do as much damage as I hoped. I'm gonna try and Giga Drain. Don't know why I keep right clicking accidentally, it's really weird. Oh, rip Cradily, I guess. That's the only thing with Cradily, like, it's cool to see that it's not that bad, but it's attacking stats are fairly bad from what I remember. Um, so I'm gonna try and... I'm gonna Aqua Jet. Ah, oh, right. Okay, and that's... Hmm. Well, that's GG, I guess. What a comeback. I mean, I guess Head Smash could be a thing. Oh, cool, the tie. GG. Wait, I won? Okay, that's a thing. Huh. Okay, then. That's interesting. Just remembered I was gonna switch the battery crap. Oh well, whatever. But yeah, people... I don't understand because I haven't actually watched it yet, I've been meaning to, but like, I haven't actually gotten around to watching it. But people keep referencing Jojo with Buzzwall, but like, you know the true name is All Might. Like, you know, it's got a punch in focus and stuff. That was a really good anime, I think. Oh gosh, it's got Beast Boost up. Um, I mean, I would try and use Archeops, but like, I can't really... Like, I'll get O-Code. Like, I will anyway, but... I'll get O-Code if it... I won't be able to use Acrobatics. Uh, 
I guess I'll use Head Smash. Uh, rip Salamence. Okay then. Oh, that still did a decent amount of damage. I mean, it's gonna outspeed, so I might as well head smash anyway. <laughs> what? Okay, again. That's a thing that just happened. <laughs> I honestly didn't expect that to happen. I thought Salamence out. I thought Salamence out speed. Because I keep forgetting that Salamence is Mega Salamence's Ubers. And I keep thinking it's going to be you watch Cola. But like, Mega Ments is Ubers, from what I remember. I think it is. I don't remember. Oh well, so now I outspeed. Unless it uses U-turn or something. Oh. Oh god. Hmm. I saw that literally a minute ago and I didn't pay any attention to it, so that's weird. Um. The rest of your team is pretty weak to rock. Apart from your Lele. Oh, and the Bula. And everything else, okay. Um, hmm. So I can't get rid of that now because I'm out of that, like, slaughtered by Buzzwall, I think it was. I can't remember. But anyway, I'm just gonna wait for it to kill, I guess. I mean,. It's doing a lot less than I thought. I mean, I'm burnt now, but like... Leftovers neutralizes that. Oh, rip. Okay. That's the one thing that I should have done, but I forgot about. I forgot to put a Z move. Like, I thought that I was missing something, but I couldn't figure out what, and it's gonna outspeed. Okay. Oh, okay. I thought it was gonna, like, completely destroy, but whatever. I've lost anyway, so whatever. It's all good. So I guess it might have like power up punch or something, I don't really... Oh, it's just sucker punching, okay. Hmm. But yeah, people think that Galissapad is bad because emergency exit. It isn't, in my opinion, it isn't the best ability. But it isn't the worst. Like, it might not be the best thing, but at least it isn't true, and, you know. It's still relatively okay. Unless you have, like, a bunch of stat boosts and you get killed. But, you know. So... I'd assume this is a just fully offensive Tapu Lele, so I really have no chance. Uh, why is my attack down? Why is that a thing? Oh, whatever. GG. So yeah, that's gonna do it for that video. Um... Let me know if there are any specific teams that you want me to use or whatever. And yeah, like I said before, let me know what your favorite fossil is. Because I'd say if I had to choose one, 
we're gonna be on um, what you call it? Not Armado, um, Archaeops. But Armado and Aerodactyl are pretty cool as well. I mean, all of them are cool, but like, they're probably my favorite three at the moment. Aerodactyl is more of a new favorite, but whatever. From memory, Aerodactyl is stronger than Greninja. So like, or not stronger, faster. Like, I think Greninja has base 123 speed, and Arrow has 130. I can't remember. But anyway, yeah, that's the end of this video. And see you in the next one.